and welcome to Geek Play Studio Tutorials. So we continue exploring the Terrigen 3 applications and I want to look on a network node window. And if you open by default, it will locate it on the bottom of your screen right here. You'll notice you'll have different tabs where you can zoom and center to specific groups. Overall, let's see concept of the groups and nodes. This um, node view will represent every node or every component or operations you're using in Terrigen in your project. So for example, if I add water, so let's go very fast right here, we'll just add lake, you notice so right here I have it components. And it will look a little bit closer. So to look closer, let me go ahead and maximize this window so we can use it. You'll notice right here we have Okay, let's go zoom in. We have it our water shader, material for the water, and we have it lake. So if we expand it, you'll notice right here we have it our water shader. We have it our planet, of course, where it's located. And we have it our lake object itself right here. So again, it's not necessarily will represent all components that will use it. And these components not necessarily all need to be connected together, but what is happening, it is showing you all of the use it inside. For example, your terrain, of course, it's right here, our planet, so we'll use it right here, and our water at this point. These groups, they do not affect how these components or nodes will perform. They're mostly for visual and organization tab. It does help when you can move around and rearrange or group them together. You can repositioning by clicking on top. You can resize by going on the edge and you see your icon for the mouse is changed. So you can kind of change them overlay. You can also create your own groups. For example, you can select items if you need it. Okay, even one or more. We'll go to edit and we can group to create different groups. Okay, notice if I put a group inside the group, they kind of link together. Or I can take just this group and move it out, bring it kind of like standalone as well. And at times, these groups you can also change. The one thing, um, so let's go ahead right here, rename. Um, my first group. I can also modify colors for the group and do other ones if included global work. Okay, so let's go create it. And right here you can see now I can have it my first group so I can jump directly to because I create my global mark for this so I can arrange but overall, when you're creating and without, you won't have any tabs, so you need to go inside and modify, edit. This way, you can pre-create your groups, make easy accessible, organizing them. There also, the network before, beside, you can see workflow. For example, right here, we know the going shares, going inside the terrain and how everything works. It's also help you to access properties of each component faster through visual. So all what you need to do, just double time click, and you notice right here you have your pop-up window open, so you can access directly to each component. And this way, so we have it right open component, we can still access all of this through our network. So if we're going inside, and we can click on terrain, okay, let me close this window. So right here, we can still open the terrain fractal, but if, for example, I want to modify something and without switching so I can compare those two results, I can actually click and open another window. And for example, work side by side. Again, remember, if you click on main window, you will lose focus. However, the nice things, it does not necessarily will go behind hiding, like you open maybe a 3D preview window going behind your main window, so you can still compare and work with results. Um, this has become very helpful when you want 
to copy some settings or readjust some other ways. Okay, so this is one way to do it. Again, to, um, so let me zoom out. To move around, you press and hold down Alt button and use your left mouse key. You can zoom in two ways by scroll button or by press Alt and use it the right mouse of the and zoom around the specific areas. Okay, so we can zoom out. Let me go rearrange. Okay, as well as in 3D preview, you have your context pop up menu, and for this, you just need to right click anywhere in the network view, network nodes, and you can access by jumping directly to the groups, or it's what you have it on the bars right here. You can go move into the um, ladder if you want it up and down. You can open all those networks in a new window. So you can still preserve other ones, but in this case, you can put it on separate monitor if you want it or access this way. You can also save notes as clips. So if you're selecting, you can go ahead and save and reuse in other ones, or you can insert as well. You notice right here, the more important things you can directly from the node view or network, you can access and create additional nodes. So this has become more productive and faster. So in this case, instead for me to going back to the shader, switch and connect it, I can go directly right here, go create shader. And for example, let's go to a water shader. So right here, I just created my own water shader that I can use if needed. So I can go, oops, let me go zoom in, take this, repositioning okay let's zoom in and I can create different water shader replace it or create any combination node to make them work together so again this is easiest way um, to create nodes and this is more advanced um, type of creation and in our future in exploring Terragen set of tutorials is where we start using kind of nodes and going a little bit more depth in how to do. Overall, again, this is just overview showing what is you can and possible. So when we start creating first scenery, you'll see we may access to some properties inside the node network, but it's not necessary to do this because you can always access directly from the uh, properties like right here, we can always access directly from our um, components navigation or not navigation panel and access our in properties windows as well. Okay, so this is kind of overview of the network um, view. And how I said before, I do recommend for you if you use it quite a bit often, maybe separate as pop up and use it on different windows so you can easier access and uh, with bigger size and scale.